Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel I am back with another video tutorial for my Python's project playlist This is my 25th video tutorial in this series In this video tutorial we'll learn how to automate WhatsApp We'll make use of webwhatsapp.com web page to automate messages and we will see the implementation in Python Let's have a look at today's agenda. We'll look into a quick introduction at WhatsApp. We'll cover the basics of modules used that's PyWhatKit and GetPass and finally we'll see how to automate WhatsApp using Python. Let's get started. What is WhatsApp? I do not think WhatsApp needs an introduction here, but for those who do not know WhatsApp is a free multi-platform messaging app that lets you make videos, video calls, send text messages and many more all with just a Wi-Fi connection. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to its Wikipedia page. Let's have a look at the modules used. PyWhatKit module. PyWhatKit is a Python library with various helpful features. It's an easy to use library which does not require to do you any additional setup. This module has lots of other cool features as well. Feel free to go ahead and explore all of them. If you wish, I can create separate video tutorials for them. If you wish to know more about it, you can refer to the PyWhat Kit GitHub repository and its documentation. I'll attach the links in the description box below. The get pass module. Get pass prompts the user for a password without equal. The module provides a secure way to handle the password prompt where the program interacts with the user via a terminal. Now that you're familiar with WhatsApp and have acquired a basic knowledge of PyWhatKit and get pass module, we can move forward to the coding section. It's time to code. You can find all the code at my YouTube project's GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide of the video tutorial. I'll attach the links in the description box below. In order to access the Python library, you need to import it in your Python environment. So open your command terminal and use command pip install pywhatkit and hit enter. Since I've already got this installed in my system, it says as requirement already satisfied. Once done, we can head over to our VS Code editor and let's start by creating a new Python file. I'll name it as automate whatsapp. Let's import the package in our Python script. So import pywhatkit as kt. Now that we have successfully imported the library, let's proceed and automate whatsapp. Before we move forward, make sure that you have an active session or previously used WhatsApp web on your browser. Let's print a welcome message here. Next, let's capture the target phone number here. For the same, I'm using the get pass module. So let's import it in our Python script. I'm storing it in pnum and calling getPass method. I'm passing the parameters prompt as phone number and stream none. So the two arguments here, first is prompt. It's written on a stream to ask for input. Default is password and stream. It's a writable file object to display the prompt. You can hover over the methods to know more about it. Now let's capture the message here. So I'm storing it in msg equals to I love python. Finally, let's call the send whatsapp method. So kt dot 
send WhatsApp message. So let's understand the parameters here. We have phone number, message, time hour, time minute, wait time and print wait time here out of which the first four are mandatory parameters whereas wait time and print wait time are optional parameters. Let's understand them. Phone number is the target phone number. Message is the message that you want to send to the user. Time hour and time minute is the hour and minutes at which you want to send the message. Remember that it's in 24 hour format. Wait time is an optional parameter whose default value is 20. That is post 20 seconds the message will be sent after opening the web. So let's actually pass in the parameters here. So P num, then we have message. Next time is 9.49 here. So let's give 9 and time I'm giving as 53. Let's save and run a Python script. So it's asking me for phone number here, post displaying the welcome message. Let's automate WhatsApp. So I'm entering the phone number. So post entering the number, it displays in 82 seconds, WhatsApp web will open and after 20 seconds, the message will get delivered. And as we can see here, our WhatsApp web is getting opened. I love Python was automatically typed and sent to the target user. And a Python script has terminated. Also, remember to provide at least 4 to 5 minutes future time from the current time when running the script. Otherwise, if you set 1 to 2 minutes prior the current time, then the module might give you an error. As you observe, the WhatsApp web got opened, a message was sent to the targeted user. You can use this script to automate WhatsApp to send birthday or anniversary greetings to your friends and families, send morning messages to your parents or maybe use it for some business ideas or so. You can even send bulk messages or create a list of phone number and messages and add a for loop. With these steps, we have successfully automated WhatsApp using Python. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Hope this tutorial has helped you. You can find all the code at my YouTube Projects GitHub repository. Also, check out the Ultimate Python Resource Hub repository, which has a curated list of all Python books, newsletters, podcasts, etc. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide of this video tutorial. I'll attach the link in the description box below. I would recommend you to check out the other video tutorial from my Python's project playlist. Also, make sure to subscribe my channel. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server for regular updates and to connect with peers and fellow developers to make new connections and help improve your coding skills. Connect with me at Twitter. My handle goes by ayushi 7 Rawat, LinkedIn and other social platforms. I'll attach the link in the description box below. If this video has helped you, like and share it with your connections who are interested in learning Python. Do share your feedback in the comments section, which will help me improve my next video. Also, drop your suggestions if you want me to make a video on a particular topic. I will be back with more such videos. Till then, take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.